Welcome friends to another Dune video here at Fantasy Law Deep Dives. Today we will look at a conflict between the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood and their splinter faction, the Honoured Martres. We rarely get to see the Bene Gesserits unleash their full abilities in the original books, so I hope to show you how tough they are today. Mabella, a reverend mother, leads the Bene Gesserit forces. In her is a hope for the future of the Bene Gesserits, with the ending of the Splinter Faction, because she was once an honoured martre, and after being captured by the Bene Gesserits, rose in their ranks to her current position. The group she leads are the Valkyries, a strike force within the Sisterhood, and here she leads them against a honoured martre stronghold on Gamu. Before her forces have even reached the planet, Mabella has employed other methods the Bene Gesserit's favour. Secret assassins, adept disseminators of propaganda, and members of the Missionara Protectiva to rally the ever-growing religious groups against the whores who killed the blessed Shiana on Arrakis. The whores is a term the Bene Gesserit's use for the honoured martyrs. For those who don't know, the Missionara Protectiva is when the sisterhood uses religious engineering, putting seeds of superstition in primitive cultures that they can manipulate to their advantage later. Here the death of Shiana on Dune at the hands of the Martres. Shiana has been made into a martyr via it, and a cult of worship has sprung up around her. Niela is the Martre leader they face, who claims falsely to be able to trace her bloodline back to the Harkonnens. The Honoured Martres had set up extensive defences on Gamu, including sophisticated scanners to detect and destroy incoming aircraft and missiles, specifically tailored to foil the new Sisterhood's traditional mode of attack. For the time being, small gaps remained in their coverage, especially in the least populated regions of the planet. The Bene Gesserit's will enter through one of those gaps. They attacked from the night side from transports, leaving their no-ship. The no-ship is hidden from prescience, the ability to see into the future. The Martres cannot do this themselves, but the Martres are allied with the Spacing Guild, whose navigators have this power, and so the no-ship disables that. Those stealth transports stop just long enough for the Bene Gesserits to leave and then fly off, triggering no alarms. Then Mabella and the Thousand Sisters attack. The Martres had expected attacks with thopters and heavy weapons, not a strike force with the only technology they use, that of the Ginaz school, swords. Mabella targets the Martres leader after studying reports of her behaviour to know where she will be. Half of the assassination operations were over before the Honoured Martres had managed to sound the first alarms. But the Honoured Martres unleashed their own trap. Fifty more Martres join to confront the small strike force. They pair off and the leaders face each other. The Honoured Martre leader kicked out with a calloused and deadly foot, but Morbella moved faster and eluded the blow. In a blur of motion, she counter-attacked from one side with her fists and elbows, backing her adversary away. Then Marbella laughed, which unnerved her opponent. We see two things from Marbella here. Psychologically playing with her opponent, taunting her by laughing. And we also see her using the weirding way, the ability to move and strike at your opponent at speeds a normal person can barely comprehend. This is due to the Bene Gesserit ability to control their muscles and nerves. In an unstrained response, your honoured Martre threw herself at Mabella, fingers outstretched like knives, but Mabella thrust up with her left elbow, catching Niella, with the armoured spine protruding from her combat suit. The slice shed blood down Niella's arm. Mabella landed a solid kick in the other woman's solar plexus, driving her back into the wall. Bumping into the stone barrier, Niella slumped as if beaten. She sprang to one side and darted back, but Mabella was ready for her, countering every move, driving Niella backward 
until she had nowhere left to go. Even her honoured martyr followers could not resist the dizzying, swift fighting techniques that the mother commander had drilled into her soldiers. All fifty of the guards were dead, leaving their leader alone and defeated. Kill me, Niela spat the words. I'll do worse, Mabella smiled. I will take you to Chapter House as my prisoner. The victorious Bene Gesserit then marched through the streets, mixing with the crowds. The people of Gamu see the Bene Gesserit's actions as a miracle due to their belief in Shiana. Mabella sees from the behavioural markers in the crowd that some of the martyrs are part of it. Her agents seek them out, and they, along with their leader, would be given the chance to convert to the Bene Gesserit way, failing that they would be put to death. They had captured 8,000 martyrs altogether, that many potential recruits. Thus the new sisterhood grew even stronger, with more and more numbers added to their forces. Now friends, I turn this over to you. What do you think to the Bene Gesserit taking the martyrs' stronghold, and how they won it? How could the martyrs have prepared better for the attack? Have you flown on a no-ship and infiltrated a matre stronghold? Comment down below.